Holy cow. That made me jump. <laughs> 10 seconds into the movie and Godzilla's got my attention. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. So many of you guys down in the comments, as well as on my Facebook group, recommended that I check out Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now, honestly, I'm not a big Godzilla fan. Never have been a fan, never really watched the series, but Redbox had it uh, for rent for two bucks. So I figured, what the heck? Went, it, went down yesterday, picked it up, watched the movie last night, and oh my goodness, you guys were 100% correct. There was so much LFE in that movie. Um, Atmos track, phenomenal. Probably one of the best Atmos tracks that I've heard in my home theater. I love Gravity. That was just kind of cool ambience and kind of spatial cues. But with this, it just totally fit with the action. This is like an, an action-packed movie with those Atmos channels or Atmos um, speakers kind of engaged and man it was just phenomenal they were definitely uh, placed at just the right spots in the movie to where you're like man I'm just like totally immersed in this movie and so honestly this video isn't about like a review of of Godzilla I just wanted to share with you um, just kind of some fun stuff that I did with the movie using my PB 16s um, but before we get into the video if you're into home theater audio and video hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops All right, so I had my light about four feet away from the subwoofer and noticed it was still blowing. So I wanted to show you kind of how much air is coming out of the ports on the PB-16. Check this out. This is about four feet away. That's crazy, dude. Absolutely crazy. Now, when I started building my home theater, probably about 12 to 15 years ago, um, I started off with a set of Polk RT800 speakers and a small Velodyne CT100, which had a 10 inch driver and a 100 watt uh, amplifier in it. And so from there, I ended up upgrading to a Velodyne F1500 that had a 15 inch with a 250 watt amplifier. And I can tell you right now, moving from a 10 inch to a 15 inch was enormous. I mean, it really, really was. The impact, the depth, and the Velodyne F1500 wasn't the best subwoofer. It, it bottomed out from time to time. From there, I ended up upgrading from that to a single Velodyne HGS15, which is definitely a higher end Velodyne uh, back in the day. And then from there, I liked that one so much, I ended up buying a second one. So that was two 15s. And then from there, I ended up buying a Klipsch RSW15. Again, another old school, uh, about a 10 or 15 year old uh, subwoofer. 
it actually performed as well as both of the Velodyne uh, HGS 15s. Ended up uh, selling both of those. Ended up buying a second RSW 15. Ended up buying a third. Ended up buying a fourth. Then I had a chance to hear the SVS PB 16. Loved the way that that sounded. Ended up getting two of them in for review. Loved the way that both of those sounded. And they actually had a tremendous amount of output as well as just some depth that I wasn't getting with the um, RSW-15s, not to mention the RSW-15s were about 15 years old, so I had one amp that was failing, and the other ones were probably gonna be uh, doing the same probably in the near future. And so um, I just went ahead and, and bit the bullet, sold those, bought the dual SVS PB-16s, and absolutely love them. Are they perfect? No, but man, they sound so good. Um, in my theater room, like I said, there's so much pressure from that movie, from Godzilla. Um, I've demoed other uh, videos in here like Aquaman. Aquaman has a lot of LFE, but it's almost like unnatural LFE. Basically, there's so much bass throughout the movie. Um, you know, they may be rocking the baby and you're hearing LFE and I'm like, why? You know, it made no sense. With Godzilla, the, the LFE, that bass, you know, just that rumble, it was at the appropriate times. And so, uh, but there was a lot of it throughout the movie because you had all these big monsters and um, just a lot of stuff happening in the movie. Like I said, the movie wasn't that great as far as the plot, but again, I'm not a Godzilla fan. So maybe if you're a- I'm not sure about that. Really? I'm trying to make a video here. Leave me alone. <laughs> Where did that come from? But I'm not a Godzilla fan. And so if you're a Godzilla fan, you may like the plot. Um, but as far as Atmos track, bam, that thing nailed it. Uh, as far as LFE, you know, just right on the money, loved it. And so will this be added to my collection? Probably so. Um, definitely, uh, again, it's just a great, great demo material. So if you don't have Godzilla, King of the Monsters, I definitely recommend picking that up. I've got a link to it down in the description as well as some of the subwoofers that I've reviewed in my home theater uh, that will really take your subwoofer and take your home theater experience to the next level. And guys, hope you're blessed. We'll catch you in the next video.